this week's pup date, we're dealing with joy. Actually, that was not on the agenda today. She's been fairly well behaved this past week. And before the camera, oh, yep, she's doing it now. No, my arm is scratched up. Yeah, oh, you're gonna lick me now. Hmm. I'm not petting you while you're misbehaving. What's up with you? Why are you acting out? Why are you acting out? Tell the class. Mm -hmm. Really? You just want treats? Well, I don't have any. I know. All right, you can have the reps. Now let's get into it. So, if you've kept up with us the last few times, you know that Joy has been getting into the chicken run. I am happy to report she has not gotten into the chicken rub since last week. She did try, but failed. I was um, feeding the chickens, and I was in the run. I had some scrappies, and um, yeah, there was some pizza crust, and Joy likes the pizza crust. And um, she, uh, she tried to get in, and she started, and if I hadn't been there to stop her, she probably would have gotten in, but I saw where she was trying to get in, so I was able to fix it and tell my make a temporary fix, and then hubby came out, and he fixed it, and since then, we have had no incidences of Joy getting in, and I am assuming that we are now predator-proof, so that's exciting, a total win. Um, I'm very excited. I mean, she was like, she was, we have, um, chain link fence and then this plastic, um, stuff like was tighter holes, um, to get it, to keep things from getting in and reaching in and grabbing. Cause I don't know if you know this, but raccoons and stuff like that will reach in a uh, chain link fix and grab a chicken and try to pull it through. So you got to have something to kind of prevent that. Um, so yeah, we have that going on and there was a rip in one and then, is that loud? But there's a rip and, um, so Joy got in between the green plastic meshy thingy thingy and the chain link fence and was able to push through the cinder block and the wood that we had blocking that got moved by the kids so we were able to fix that and make it a better adjustment and told the kids do not move the cinder blocks so hopefully that sticks hannah hannah's playing she um she's still unsure of how to play with people but we've had a few great moments the other day um we were all hanging out on the porch um we'd had a long day um traveling uh we uh, we had to take the uh, baby to go see a um specialist our um our child um our youngest child he um he's had some health challenges um where he wasn't able to um chew food properly and he was having um appetite issues so we had to go an hour and a half out of the way anyways that got resolved um he's doing much better he's eating um and he's much happier. Um, the kids are playing. I'm just, just admiring how happy they are. So we were hanging out on the back porch after um, dealing with that. And uh, I just, you know, me and Hannah just kind of went back and forth and played a little bit. She's still unsure, but I showed my hubby how we play. Cause he had, really, sir? Are you a dog? <coughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, hubby got to see me play with Hannah. That's the first time that he's actually um, seen her play with me like that. So, um, that was cool. Um, she's still not real. Oh, you just want it out. Rascal. No. You need to either sit in my lap or go play in the playpen. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Hannah, hey Hannah, hi good girl. I don't know if you can see this beautiful girl. Hi girlfriend. Hi. 
Aren't you pretty? You sweet girl. So yeah, that's um very excited about her continuing to learn how to play. She's still unsure. Um, maybe I can get her to like some um, toys. I've got a few toys picked out. Leash training. We started um, wa uh, working on leash training the dogs. Um, neither one of them are leash trained uh, just because I've had some health issues in the past where walking the dogs um, was hard and I a lot of the dog training methods that I used to use I listened to some really bad dog training advice in the past with some of my old, old, uh, previous dogs and it really left um, the walk messed up with them and it really made walking frustrated. Uh, last year I tried walking the girls um, and actually I fell down um, because of them getting twisted up because they weren't pulling hard or anything like that but they just got a little uh, twisted. And it just, it, it caused me to fall down. Um, and so I scraped up my arm pretty good. I think I still have a scar actually right there. Um, or is that from when I fell down in the hallway? That might be from me falling down. Anyways, tore up my knee, tore up my arm. Um, so we're working on changing my mindset. I've been learning more about dog training and learning different methods and I'm liking the methods that I'm learning better. I feel like they're actually creating a happier walk. It's more of, um, yeah, I'm using treats a lot and I'll wean them off the treats, but they're happy on the walk. They're focusing. We haven't even left the driveway. Um, I, I will link these shorts, um, that of me teaching Hannah to walk yesterday. She did fabulous. Um, she has some serious prey drive. So, um, yesterday when I took her out, she had great manners at the door. She sat and waited until I released her to go out the door. And then our cat started moving about on the front porch. Uh, I called the front porch the cat's bedroom because our cats, they don't like to come inside. They're like, we're going to be outside. We don't care if it's freezing. We want to be outside. We don't care if it's hot. We don't care if it's raining. It's a covered porch. They're happy there. Um, cannot convince them to come in um, anymore. So, what can you do? Um, so, they were hanging out. The three tabby cats were hanging out on the front porch. And so, that kind of got Hannah a little bit um, into prey drive mode. She wanted to chase them. So, I had to kind of get her attention. I use um, some food. And I realized that my... The, the treats that I had in my pouch, my bait pouch, were not high enough value. Um, and I really realized it when I got down the sidewalk and then um, in the driveway and started uh, walking towards the end of uh, the driveway and there was a squirrel. There was a squirrel across the street. Man, that squirrel offered some great distraction, let me tell you. So I had to really uh, work with her on it, um, and I actually came back inside and got some um, chicken because I needed to raise the value of um, what I was offering to her so that she would focus more on me, and that actually worked really well. I, we By the end of the walk, she wasn't paying attention to the squirrels. She wasn't paying attention to the neighbors in their driveway um, getting in and out of cars. They had something going on over there, so that was its own distraction. And um, so I was able to film at the end of my session um, a quick little video of her walking nicely on a leash, giving me good attention. It wasn't the best attention that I had actually gotten from her from the session, but we did an end on a win. And that is always, always important. If you can end on the win, end on the win. It doesn't matter what you're training, end on the win. Because that will seal what the dog learns even better. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Joy, we've been working with her on leash training as well. Um, it's a little bit trickier t teaching her to um, walk on a leash because on one hand, Joy is easier to teach because she's more food motivated and she's more eager to learn and she's her disposition is happier and more happy-go-lucky. What's up, Joy Joy? She's also kind of spazzy when it comes to food, and um, she's spazzy when it comes to toys. So it's like 
trying to balance out that and then she's so little and she's so close to the ground ah don't you start grabbing my arm uh-uh that hurts um yes good girl good girl stop I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to get her to listen to me a little bit timing is really tricky with her because i'll tell her yes and i'll go to reward her and then she'll lose whatever pose so when it comes to leash training it's kind of um it's harder in a lot of ways have to be careful because she's a little dog and if she pulls too much on leash that could hurt her have to be careful with hannah when she pulls on leash because that could hurt her or me you know don't want the dogs pulling on a leash it's just not safe for anyone can you please stop so leash training joy has been a little bit harder it's it's a little bit more involved she's actually when you get to walking her she's generally better behaved on the walk last time I took her on the walk like usually when I take her on a walk she doesn't pull at all like that doesn't happen um, I don't take her on very many walks just because of the kids and um, whatnot and it's kind of crazy and Hannah pulling and it's it's hard to manage walking the kids and walking the dogs I'm stay-at-home mom we homeschool so it's not like I can it's not like I can just leave the kids my husband's been home lately so that's been I've been able to focus a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with the dogs so I'm taking advantage of his being here to help with that kind of stuff but generally it's um, not the case it's really hard to explain just how much her wiggling it's hard to get her to sit in position she doesn't understand stay she gets so excited she won't hold she won't hold her sit she won't hold her and it's mostly my fault because I've had poor timing or didn't realize that I was teaching her to get up when she, I yeah it's she's a mess so we're gonna be working with her so and another reason why I haven't really walked the dogs all that much is just because in the past I've had a lot of health issues um, I have fibromyalgia and um, some days it's just hard to get out of bed. I'm doing a lot better. Um, you may have noticed me picking up my pink drink. This is uh, really, really helpful. This natural supplement that um, has made it a lot better. Um, I have way less um, down days and I have a lot more energy and I'm not ready to pass out at seven o'clock at night anymore. So that's really, really helpful. So anyways, we're working on the leash training, we're working on the behavior, we're working on it all, but Joy is definitely taking some learning curves. Like I'm I'm real I'm used to big dogs. Like Hannah's actually a small dog for me. Like I'm used to Great Pyrenees and German Shepherds. And you know, and I'm like, I've got this little bitty Shizu, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with her. So yeah. So we're working with it. I'm learning, she's learning, it's gonna be great. Um it's fine. My kids are peering at me through the window. They're adorable. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that we're um, with the Back to Basics with Joy is she's listening to my kids a whole lot better um, because they're helping me with putting her in the kennel and out of the kennel. They've taken on my daughter. She's my daughter's dog and my daughter just turned eight. And my daughter has really been focusing on helping me brush her more. She's been taking her to her room and teaching her tricks. She's been teaching her how to safely get on and off her bed using the um, ottoman at the foot of her bed so that she doesn't get hurt, um, which I think is so sweet and so cute. She actually came up with that idea all on her own. Um, so that means my daughter is really taking ownership. Um, my, uh, third child, um, my three-year-old, he, uh, he's, he loves training the dogs. He's, they, he'll get the bait pouches if I'm not looking and he'll, uh, start stuffing cheese or treats or dog kibble, whatever he can find that he knows that I, I'll use to, uh, train the dogs with. And he started coming out and he'll clip it on his little pants and he's, he's, doing he's training and it's absolutely adorable and they actually listen to him um and it's funny watching the dogs follow him around um it's absolutely precious i love the fact that he is getting involved and you know maybe one day we'll have to get another dog i don't know um i would love to get my own dog um i was actually talking with a breeder <laughs> i've been talking with a breeder and um so hopefully that will work out. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out because um, some things have been happening. Um, basically, I thought that things were going to be a little bit different at this point um, in our year than it is currently with my husband, wor my husband's work and stuff like that. So um, having to reevaluate whether or not um, getting a puppy this summer would be a wise decision. I'm really hoping that it can still work out and um, all that. I'm, yeah, I've got puppy fever very, very badly. Uh, you may have heard that corn. I've got puppy fever very, very badly and I really just, I love puppy so much. Well, hello, who's honking? Sheesh. Oh, uh, And I think that's it. Peace. Mm -hmm.